the tools for drug discovery have scaled at a massive, massive uh, rate. But fundamentally, it's the understanding of biology that's changed. So again, when I started, we were developing drugs which were largely addressing symptoms of disease for vast numbers of patients so that um, it was very much a, you know, how many, how many people could you treat and what could you charge them? And therefore, that was the commercial um, potential for, the, for a drug. And now, as we understand what are the pathogenic processes that cause disease, we can now start to develop drugs very precisely just to target those mechanisms. And by doing that, you obviously uh, can be much cleverer in how you develop the, run the clinical studies, which means you those will be much cheaper to run than the huge studies you used to run, um, which where you, you didn't know what was causing the disease. Um, and actually the chance of success is much higher. Again, the more precise you can be about the mechanism, the pathogenic, or the disease causing me mechanism, the um, more likely you are to be able to get a drug that works, that won't be have, have lots of toxic side effects. So what we are able to do now is get drugs onto the market or literally safety patients and ultimately onto the market um, that can actually alter the, the disease course so that you could actually have disease modification or potentially either stopping the disease, in some case curing the disease, but certainly going way beyond symptomatic treatment.